Hi everybody, this is Susie. I'm bringing to you a very special heartfelt project today. Um, someone uh, very dear to me is undergoing some treatment at a local cancer center where she lives. And the people there and the staff and all have been extraordinarily kind and very nice. And when I hear things like this, especially if it's for someone that I know, a friend, a family member, even for myself, um, I always send or make some kind of a thank you. And while I was looking at my Wild Orca Crafts flowers this morning, a little bell went off, and I thought that I wanted to make something extra special just as a thank you for these nurses and staff members who are really caring about all of the members, uh, rather all of the patients that come in for uh, this type of treatment. So what I have put together here was I made this really, really pretty pink ribbon. And uh, what I had done here was the pink ribbon itself is probably about eight inches tall. It was I, I found a ribbon photo um, on the internet through Google. If you type in uh, cancer awareness or cancer ribbon, they loads of pictures come up. And um, I printed it out. I cut it out, and I cut it out with the um, the flat razor, one of these. Okay, and um, then I put it on to um, I adhered it. So let me see if I can show you what it looked like. This is kind of like a go green project I'm calling it because I'm always using recycled something. But you can see that that was the size on some uh, Cheerios cereal board, okay, which this one came in handy. So I put it on there and then I cut it out with my flat razor knife again. And uh, then I had painted it with this acrylic paint. It's by Craft Smart and the color is bright magenta. And it was a very vibrant pink. I was going to use the baby pink, but I wanted something to stand out behind the flowers in case I didn't load it up too much. All of these flowers are from wildorchacrafts.com. Um, you've seen some of these in the beautiful design team package that I just received um, in the mail the other day. I had done a video on that, so you can go over to Susie Crafter 10 and see it on my channel uh, Facebook, uh, excuse me, on my channel YouTube page. And um, getting back to these flowers, it's just one thing here from my stash. It's one of those little crystal balls, and it was pink, and I thought I'd use it. Okay, and up on top here, I have some of Wild Orca Crafts, a double-tied bow uh, seam binding here that, that I just made the bow out of the seam binding. And I hot glued that to the bottom of the, um, right underneath this flower here. And, um... You, you really cannot see anything. You'll see some of the wild orca craft flowers in there and you'll see a couple of little, you'll see the messy background. You'll see a couple of the pearls in the back there. Just very few scattered around. You've got the fuchsia uh, calla lilies. You've got the beautiful roses and the smaller ones and the trellis roses I love. And these other hydrangea flowers, just absolutely stunning. These the pink little um, sweetheart blossoms uh, that I had gotten in my package just recently. If you're interested in those for a spring project, it's PM00117. Um, again, just like a variety of gorgeous pink, light pink, and two-tone colored flowers from Wild Orca Crafts. And you can see I have some of these little cow lilies peeking out ever so slightly. And I'm not sure if you can pick it up on the vid or not, but there's a slight shimmer to the whole, um, the whole thing, and uh, I mean all of the flowers. And um, what I used was, I know a lot of you have all these other types of glimmers, but I don't have room to keep buying every single item that comes out, so I make do with what I have. And this is the Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist that's on the flowers and the color is pearl and I kind of love that color because it's really neutral it, it gives a sheer sheen to anything that I use it on so um, I just love the way that it came out. I'm going to show you the flip side just so that everything is um, nicely finished. Um, you can see that the ribbon is on the other side that's the exact shape of the ribbon that I cut out um, 
I made a little handmade sign there and signed it and said thank you with the person's name on it just for the sake of privacy and being that I'm hoping they could hang it by the ribbon but just in case there's you know um, no place for the ribbon to hang on to like a tack or a nail or, or something that they can't put into the wall um, I, I decided to use some uh, pieces of magnet and even though I didn't have well I have it but it's probably packed away because I'm moving to another floor in the house for my new studio um, I decided to cut up a business card magnet from a bakery that I had on the side of my refrigerator and that was actually my husband's idea and just cutting that into strips it was um, strong enough to be able to stick onto my refrigerator and the file cabinet I tested it just to make sure it's a heavy weighted magnet so I'm, um, I know that the ladies there are going to like this and it's definitely something that's really cheerful um, for patients and visitors to um, enjoy uh, looking at while they are sitting there having some treatment so um, again I, I wanted to share this with all of you I really was not going to make a video but then I thought um, since this was such a heartfelt uh, project that um, meant a lot to me um, I thought that I would share it with you excuse the the messy background but I was working on a piece of cardboard and you can see where I had sprayed the the glimmer mist there but it's really in person it's really really pretty I wish I could find my ruler but that's probably packed away now too but if I put the scissor next to it you can see that it's a little taller than the scissor so and that's it you guys so thank you so much for tuning in today and hope everybody's doing well and feeling great and happy crafting and I'll be in touch again so still photos on Facebook um, if you uh, are not uh, on Facebook you can always go in and friend me um, so that you can see pictures and you can also see this photo on Facebook if you're not friends with me you can see it on the Wild Orca Crafts um, Facebook uh, page it's under Wild Orchid Crafts um, and you will also see photos of this on my blog at suzycrafter10.blogspot.com along with the other items that I have been creating so thanks so much for tuning in today take care everybody bye